Fall Farmer Dre back at it. Another beautiful fall day here on the farm. It was 43 degrees this morning. And what can I say? It's beautiful out here. But today I'm going to show you guys our deer fence and explain to you guys how it works. And if it does keep deer off it or if it doesn't keep deer off it. Deer are a very big problem when it comes to strawberries. Just because the strawberry plants are so small. And one or even two deer can wipe out entire rows in one night because the plants are so small they just start eating the tops of them and then all your entire uh, growth and production is gone in a couple seconds so uh, the deer is one of the biggest pests that we fight in the fall with these strawberries just because they can come through and destruct an entire field no problem if you get a herd of 10 or 15 that can wipe out an acre uh, in no time so that's why we got to protect the deer from getting into the strawberry field. Before we get started, I want to show you guys a strawberry plant here. Uh, we went through and pulled the runner here, uh, the runners off this first section here, and they've already been, uh, they're growing nicely. But look at the size of these plants. My goodness. This is my third year in a row, or this is my third year growing strawberries. And this is the best year I've ever seen. Uh, they say it right, the third time is a charm. So the rye grass is looking real good. We got to come through here and mow this, the rye grass here in between the rows. But look at these strawberry plants. They've developed, uh, hopefully they've developed a lot of crowns. They're still sizing up. And we still have about another month of growth yet. It's the 20 something of, of October now. And we still have hopefully another month to go of growth. Of course, uh, the sun's going to be uh, getting short. The day length going to be getting, getting shorter and shorter. But strawberries love this time of year. It's nice and cool. It's not freezing yet. Uh, but they're growing actively up top. And the nice thing about strawberries is if you put the row covers on, they're going to continue growing that root system. And those crowns will continue developing even after it gets cold in the fall. Up until uh, the average temperature reaches about 10 uh, degrees or so, they're going to continue growing. So that's the beautiful thing about strawberries is they're able to grow that much uh, longer in the fall. So the planning goal on these strawberries here is to develop at least uh, six to seven crowns. And those six to seven crowns will turn into about a pound per plant of, of production on each, each of these strawberries. And then we'll come through here in the spring and harvest. But before we do that, we gotta protect the strawberry plants from getting eaten by deer. And let me explain how the deer fence works. Planted, um, I had strawberries last fall, but I used the deer fence last year. And I used a system that I saw online from a different farmer. And I, I read a book on, on uh, protecting deer. And they were just recommending three wires with two different lines. And last year it worked up until about, it got until it got cold and it, it frosted outside. So this became the main target. The only thing green in the farm, on the farm, was the strawberries here. So uh, this year I've changed things up. I um, made uh, made a few changes to the fence, made a few changes, and I'm going to show you guys that in a bit. But overall, just those three wires that were last year, uh, two in the front and one in the back, they helped out tremendously last year up until it got cold. But hopefully this year, this the way I did it now will repel deer all the way up until uh, we put on the covers and even after that, even in the spring. This is a deer fence right here. So you got two different lines. Uh, this year I put them four foot apart. Last year they were five foot apart. I put them four foot apart. And uh, initially um, the first fence here only has one on top, one on bottom, and then one in the center. So this year what I did differently, I put another one on top and another one in the middle. So there's five total lines here. And this is just that poly electric tape made for horses mainly. That's what they, uh, no, I mean, that's what it says on the package whenever you buy it. It says it has a picture of a horse or for any animal, any livestock, but mainly for horses. And the nice thing about this, it reflects. So it has a type of reflectant in it. So the deer and the animals can see this even at night. If you use just regular electric fans, like high tensile wire for that, the deer aren't going to see it as effectively. So that's why we will go ahead and use uh, this poly wire so that the deer can go ahead and see any time of the day. This works with deer. So deer can't see perception. So they can't see distance that well just because they have their eyes on their side of their head. 
And whenever they have their eyes on the side of the head, it's hard for them to see how far apart things are from one another. They're not as precise as us, where we can, you know, see 10, 20, 30 foot to the point. But with deer, they can't see that. So initially, let's say you're a deer here and they come up here, they can't tell how far back that second wire is, the, the second line of, of, of wires there. So for them, they they it's an illusion to them where either it's really tall or uh, they don't know how far the distance is between the two and they're scared to jump. And of course, deer will be curious and deer will come in and try to touch that wire. So that's why all the wire is uh, plugged in and it's, it's hot wire so that the instant they touch it, they're grounded to the dirt, they're gonna get shocked and run away. And trust me, animals, they only get shocked once. The second time, they don't do it because it hurts so bad. Even for me, um, if you touch it, it hurts. So um, that's the whole idea uh, of how these deer, uh, we protect the deer. And I've seen, doing my research, I've seen some other ways people do it. And the thing about deer fence, the most effective and to perfect it is an eight foot deer fence around the entire property. So uh, you buy the eight foot regular, um, I forget what it's called, uh, the ones with the cubes in them, just regular fencing, I guess, field fencing, and build that entire, around your entire farm. But as you guys uh, know, the price of material here lately and the price of metal wood is, is through the roof. It's crazy high. And, you know, deer, this deer fence is a, a very uh, economic. It's economically friendly because it's very cheap. So whenever I bought the poly wire, I, um, I, I bought 15,000 foot of this poly wire for like five or six hundred dollars. So it was fairly cheap. And of course, you got the T-post, but we, we already had the T-post here on the farm. And all you got to do is buy those electrical clips here that connect to the T-post. These clips here to insulate the, the, the uh, post from, from getting grinded. And that's a, that, it's very simple and easy. And that's the biggest thing about this deer fence is you want to keep it very, or for, at least here on our farm, keep it very economically friendly. Where we don't spend too much money on building a fence. And if you guys have been following my channel for a while, you guys know we keep on expanding. We keep on growing. And for us to build a deer fence around the entire property, which is enclosing 55 acres, that is going to cost a lot, a lot of money. So, you know, I don't have $50,000 to invest into a deer fence around the entire farm. Right here, I'm just going to show you show you guys a fence here without showing you guys a T-post because the T-post gives it away. But as you can see here, it's hard to see on camera where, how far back that second wire is. This one right here and this one right here are the back wire and these three here are the front. So if you didn't, if you were, let's say we were a deer and we couldn't see anything, what are, you, what are you gonna do? You can't even tell that there's two different wires or two different rows of fence. So for them, uh, you know, if I'm just looking straight at it, it's kind of tripping me as well, even though I can see a whole lot better than deer and I got new contacts in, so it's kind of, you know, if you're just if you're just looking straight at it, the perception is what really messes you up. So if I do have a little bit of a, a deer problem, then I'm gonna go ahead and, and, and embrace it even some more. I got some more uh, uh, a poly fence there. I'm gonna put five or six. I see some other farmers who are uh, doing a, a lot of a lot of wire on both fences just to protect a deer from getting into it. One thing that I did here to be extra cautious on the outside of the edges here. I did put bar soap out, out here as well, just to do everything possible to keep the deer out of the strawberry field here. So the the deer now the fence the soap now has pretty much. I mean, it's still if you're really up close to it, it still smells, but it's not as as uh, potent as it was early on when you take it out of the package. And it's been here. We put this soap here from day one, from the beginning. So it's been out here since the first week of September. So it's kind of dying off, but this deer fence really works, works really well here. So we have uh, four acres of, of strawberries enclosed into uh, the deer fence here. And then at my container, I'm going to go ahead and show you guys there. I have a charger plugged in. So I've been running this radio here out of my container, out of the well house here for the strawberries uh, just to protect the deer. So this cap right here is not open. I'm only going to close it whenever the deer pressure is high. So, yeah, I've been running that radio there and keeping the deer away. And then the charger is right here. And I set this up outside just so that, I mean, I didn't want to pull a hot wire from inside my container. So this thing should be pretty weatherproof here. And uh, put it outside. It's unplugged right now. But 
plug it in with an extension cord and that's it make it simple real easy to use connect straight to it everything's insulated here and uh that is about it so all y'all so this is gonna be it for today just a quick little deer fence update video for you guys like i said it works great if you uh build it right and keep it electrified and other than that there's not too much to it the strawberry plants are growing nicely looking good everything is growing nicely they're protected i'm out here inspecting for insects for any any other pressure from the environment and that is about it so deer fence is working great if you guys haven't already go ahead and hit that subscribe button smash that like button if you guys enjoyed today's video don't forget hit that notification icon so you guys can be notified whenever i do upload a video i want to say thanks for watching up to this point you guys have a good day and we will see you next time <music>